friends, and welcome to Star Wars for 100 Days, the ultimate fan countdown leading up to the release of Star Wars The Force Awakens. Every day we're getting closer and closer to the release of the seventh chapter in the greatest sci-fi saga of all time. Last time I was talking about the Max Rebo Band, and it got me thinking about all of these strange aliens, droids, and monsters which are hanging around Jabba the Hutt's palace. And that got me thinking about Jabba the Hutt's most beloved pet, the Raincore. Now, if you're gonna be one of the big mob bosses in the Star Wars universe, you're gonna need some money, some muscle, and a monster. And that's where the Raincore comes in. One of the most memorable parts of Return of the Jedi is the scene where both one of Jabba's dancers and Luke Skywalker and a Gamorrean guard are thrown into this underground pit which is directly below his palace, which houses this giant beast which is known as a Raincore. If you thought Tony Montana having a tiger was awesome, Scarface has nothing on Jabba the Hutt. The Raincore is this massive half-reptilian, half-mammalian creature which pretty much just devours anything in sight. It also happens to be one of the largest, most monstrous creatures that we see in the entire Star Wars universe, able to pretty much swallow just about anyone whole. That is except for Luke Skywalker, who does have a standout scene with the beast. Skywalker even manages to survive being eaten by this giant beast thanks to his Jedi skills and a luckily placed door. However, if that door was not there and that was simply just a big room for the Rancor to hang out in, I'm pretty sure that Luke Skywalker would have probably been eaten whole. And that's because the Rancor is absolutely disturbing, and it's also a marvel of special effects technology. According to the creators of Star Wars, originally they were going to do stop motion, then they were going to do a man in a suit, which frankly just didn't look all that great, and then they decided to go with good old school puppetry, as well with some great animatronic and some small CG effects. Nothing too groundbreaking for the time, but it still astonishes me how years later this scene still actually looks really good. And it's one of the few times where I'll actually praise the Blu-ray and DVD editions of the film as they make this scene look a lot more clearer and you really fear for your life when you see this giant monster, which has one of the coolest roars ever. And thinking about this scene actually kind of reminded me of that one scene in Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones, when you have Padme, Anakin, and Obi-Wan who've just been captured by the Geonosians, and they put them in this giant arena, which is filled to the brim with all of these big monsters. The Akle, the Nexu, the Reek. I think this would have been a really great opportunity to throw in another Rancor. Maybe not a full-sized Rancor, maybe like a smaller one. It would have been a great homage to that scene, which honestly, that entire scene was kind of an homage to the Rancor pit in general. But still, I like the Rancor a little bit more. Supposedly, the Rancors were used by the Witches of Dathomir as a way of getting around. They were literally a beast of burden. You try putting a saddle on that bitch. Raincores have also made a few appearances in the Star Wars video game series. They were in the Star Wars The Force Unleashed and its sequel, and we got to see different versions of these creatures, such as the Bull Raincore, which has all of these massive spikes coming out of its face, just making it even more scarier and deadly than it was before. But at the end of the day, as scary as the Raincore actually is, it's actually kind of a big softy, and depending on who raises it, it can actually end up being your best friend. Case in point, that one random scene in Return of the Jedi, when the Raincore is killed by Luke Skywalker, we have this one dude who just like enters into the screen, sees the dead Raincore, and he starts to cry like a little bitch. Apparently this was the Raincore's keeper, and he's not too happy about his best buddy being crushed by a giant spiked door. This scene was always really strange to me, but it also proves that these things can actually be tamed, and if you wanted to call it anything, the Raincore really is Jabba's pet dog. And that's not even counting the weird frog and dog things that he has hanging around his castle. What I love most about Jabba's palace are all of the crazy monsters. When I started talking about the Max Rebo Band, I decided I wanted to highlight a few of those before we get to the more bigger videos towards the end of this video series. So we do have a couple more Jabba's Palaces videos coming up as well as talking about the big man himself. But I wanted to talk a little bit about the Raincore, which I honestly do believe is one of the coolest monsters from the Star Wars universe. And the only way they could really up the ante on it is if we got multiple Raincores in one scene. That is something I would love to see in the brand new Star Wars films. Whether they be on another planet or they go to their home planet of Dathomir, I would love to see like 10 of these things fighting against either the First Order or the Resistance. I think that would be really 
freaking awesome. But even with all of the expanded material, my favorite thing from the Rancor is definitely from Return of the Jedi. One of the most memorable monsters from the series, and not the only monster that even shows up in that movie. There's also the Sarlacc Pit. But that's a discussion for another day. Before you guys leave today, make sure to tell me what you guys want to see from Star Wars The Force Awakens. Do you have a favorite alien or monster character from the movies or the expanded universe? What do you think of the classic Luke versus the Raincore scene from Return of the Jedi? And what do you want to see from Star Wars The Force Awakens? Please tell me in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, may the Force be with you.